Hi folks, Captain Mike here from Salty Cape. Today we're at a spot called the Hooter, which is just a little bit south of the eastern portion of Martha's Vineyard. As you can see, it's a hot, hazy summer day. We're here um, just after lunchtime. The incoming tide is just starting to roll. Today we're gonna to be trolling plugs on lead core line. We're gonna be using the Hoagie five inch slider and trolling at a fast clip. We're doing about seven and a half knots now. There's a deep side of the rip and a shallow side of the rip. So we're gonna look at a trolling pattern on how to effectively find these fish. Now the hooter is a cool spot because you never know what you're gonna catch. Uh, trolling, I've caught everything from big scup, fluke, sea bass, bluefish. You know, the ultimate catch here is a bonito or a striped bass. But today we're gonna to look at how to do a search pattern here and uh, really get into that late, hot, hazy summer fishing. I particularly like these shorter, softer style trolling rods. This is an old, this particular rod happens to be an ultralight stand-up tuna rod, but it's rated for 15 to 30 pound test, more than appropriate for striper fishing or blue fishing or like we're doing here at the Hooter. And I have spooled this reel up with lead core thing I like about lead core is I can fish variable depths in the water column depending on how much line I have out. The hooter is sort of a mixed bag in terms of what you're targeting here. There's bonito that they're sort of all over the water column. Stripers, they tend to hang out near the bottom. Bluefish are all over. Sea bass are all over. And again, sometimes you troll a fluke here and they're near the bottom as well. So lead core gives you a lot of options while trolling. You'll notice that I'm using this five inch hoagie slider. Now, uh, trolling a lipped bill is very popular here. A lot of people do with the lip bill is trolling on spinning reels. The lure dives down, hangs at a nice depth, works very well. But what I like about this lipless lure, this hoagie slider paired with lead core line, is I can put that lure anywhere in the water column that I want to based on how much line I have. And uh, so, for example, if I'm going over the fish finder and mark a nice fish on the bottom, I can take the boat out of gear and these lures are gonna sink down with the lead core. And then I put the boat back in gear and they'll emerge off the bottom. And this is as compared to a traditional floating style build lure. If you take the boat out of gear, the lures are gonna do the opposite of what you wanna do and float to the surface. So these lipless swimming plugs are very effective in this situation because again, you can compensate for the depth based on how much line you have. I'm going to let this back out and see how it does. So right now I'm fishing on the deep side of the rip. So I'm going to allow all my colors but just one. And uh, so we're going to be uh, fishing a little deeper. I'm also going a little faster. So the faster you go, the more your lures will rise. So I'm playing around with the trolling speeds and the amount of line. And um, I feel like it's worth the extra effort for tweaking boat speeds and line lengths to really dial in where in the water column uh, most fish tend to be. But again, here at a spot like the Hooter, they're at all depths. Tight, we got a fish on. We're gonna leave one engine in gear feels like a bluefish. You often know when you have a bluefish when they quickly start jumping on the surface. And we just turned on the fish. Jamie is keeping the boat in gear for us, but she just went down to one engine. And it's gonna allow us to keep one line out while we fight the fish. And when the fish jumps, I know that's gonna be higher up on the surface, so I don't worry about the other lead core line. I know it's clear. I'm just switching to this side of the boat. So my job as an angler was to make sure the lures didn't pick up weeds and that are swimming properly. My job as a captain now is to find the fish. So there's a, sh rip, a shoal line that goes across here. There's a shallow side and a deep side. And this is my first time fishing this spot this year. Um, this spot, the Hooter, um, tends to fish you know, later in the summer, but any open water spot where there's open water trolling and fish at very, very levels of the water column, you, know, you would fish it the same way. So the factors you can toggle are the boat speed, the amount of line, 
and the direction we're trolling into the wind or into the tide or down the wind or down at the tide. So I will do big circles in one way and then a big circle in another way, cross. I don't know what it is, but sometimes the fish want the lures up tide, they want them down tide, they want it into the light, out of the light. I don't always know what I'm doing right, but when I discover it, I just replicate the situation. So we just went over a target on the fish finder. So I'm gonna take the boat out of gear and I'm gonna let these lead core lines drop and these plugs drop, everything drop in unison. I'm gonna put these lures as close to the bottom as I think I can get them. Maybe I'm gonna wait 15 or 20 seconds. You don't often get a hit on the drop, but oftentimes the hit comes as the lures start merging off sort of the bottom level of the water column and come back up. Very effective technique and using a lipless swimmer is, um, is a great way to do it because the sled core line is going to really control where that lure is going to be. Fish on! Awesome double header. Spot is fishing hot, the tide's building up. Awesome late afternoon fishing. Fun little bluefish. And this time of day, this time of year, I'll take it. So it feels a little bigger. We got the bluefish on the fast troll when we slowed the boat down to land the bluefish. The lead core slider combination went down towards the bottom, obviously, because as you see, we have this great sea bass. It's the middle of July, dog days of summer, super hot, shorts, flip flops, middle of the day, nonstop action, just happy, fun fishing. Not exactly hardcore, but high in the fun factor.